Damn it! This news is a total lie! I'm alive! But how? Don't you think that's weird? I agree! I mean, I like super agree! This is extremely weird! Why do I have to let some crazy person who attacked me earlier follow me around and call me her big sister? That's so mean, big sis! Desco didn't attack you! Back, this is the first time Desco has ever met you! Huh? Now I'm even more confused! I've heard of love at first sight, but sister at first sight? Nah, uh Not gonna do it! But, but Desco is your... Shut up! Nobody cares! They killed me off without my consent! Doesn't that bother anyone? Nope. However, I don't like how they're burying the truth about our Lord's successful rise. The news reports state that all of the rebels in Hades were executed by the task force. There's nothing in here but lies. Hold on! More importantly, look at the second line of this article! It's spelled pretty wrong! It says Primey instead. What is going on here? As a pretty instructor, I cannot let this travesty slide! So you're more concerned about a typo than falsely reporting that I died? It's hard to believe that the Information Bureau would make such a careless mistake. They pride themselves on reporting the facts. The Corrupterment must be using the Information Bureau to alter facts to their advantage. What should we do, my lord? We must invade the Bureau and bring them under our control! They will correct this typo! Bring them under our control? Are you stupid? That's impossible! It's located in a low-level demon area, but the Corruptorment uses the Bureau to control and regulate the flow of information. They're like the CIA or MI6. They've got intense security, and besides the staff, only the highest officials are allowed to enter. So that means you can get in there, right? Of course I can! Who do you think I am? Then we don't have a problem. This is our Lord's command. Take us there, Rascal P. Coltrane! Watch your mouth! I'm the President's son! I'm way more powerful than you are! That's even more of a reason for you to go. Seeing you alive should be more than enough proof for them to correct their false reports. You see, you're right! I can prove to them that I'm still alive! Fine. I don't have a choice. Sir Death and Maisel will take you there! Okay, then let's get going, to become the Netherworld President! Desco will kill everyone that gets in her way of becoming the final boss. Desco will make you proud, big sis. I'm not your sister! With each of their hopes in mind, the new party's very first operation was underway. Episode 4, Death in Easel's Death. Uh, big Sis? Aren't you excited to see what kinds of enemies we're gonna have to face, Big Sis? Hey, seriously, can you stop calling me Big Sis? Huh? I mean, I wanted a little sister when I was younger, but I really can't accept having some gross-looking monster for a sister, even if it is just a dream. <laughs> Desko's so sorry for being so gross, big sis. Desko is glad that we finally got to meet each other. Desko will do her best to become a final boss. So please don't hate her! Hey! Oh, come on! Why are you crying over this? Stop it! You're making it look like this is my fault! But it is your fault! Yeah, no matter what angle I try to look at it, I'm pretty sure it's all your fault! What? Is everyone blaming this on me? She's the bad guy here! She attacked! Stop right there! I don't approve of this! Uh, what? 
We must unite as one if we are to accomplish our goal of usurping the regime. It's a tactic that the humans call teamwork. As long as you belong to this new party, I won't allow any dissension among the ranks. Even if you hate each other, just get along. Even if we hate each other? Is there any point to that? Of course there is. You seem pretty confident. Fine. I don't want you to keep crying, so I give you permission to call me Big Sis while we're in my dream. Really? Desko is so happy! But you have to swear absolute loyalty to me. If Big Sis says it's white, then it's white. If Big Sis says it's black, then it's black. Got that? If you follow this rule, then you can call me Big Sis. Okay, if Big Sis says that clothes are white, then Desko will go paint them all white! Good. I'm pretty sure this isn't how sisters are supposed to get along. Well, that's settled. Now, let's go invade the Information Bureau! If you consider this settled, all is for my lord. The Netherworld, a world supported by fear energy that is harvested from the human world. The demons here obey only one thing, power. They are divided into different areas, depending on their own personal power. Valvatora's and his party's first destination lies in the lowest level of the Netherworld. It's an area inhabited by demonic weaklings and lowly peons. It's been a while since I've smelt the foul air of the netherworld. The sounds of screams echoing in the distance, the blood-soaked ground, the warm air, oh, the sweet memories. Yes, the first time we met, during the Golden Age, when my lord reigned over this world as its tyrant. This place hasn't changed a bit. Ugh! Enough of this sappy crap! We need to hurry up and correct the false news reports! Desko, listen up. If you want to keep being my little sister, you need to act more girly. Girly? But Desko wants to be a final boss. Yeah, but that doesn't change the fact that you're a girl. I don't want to have a tomboy for a sister. Uh, okay. Then Desko will be girly. Good. Then let's start with skin care. UV rays are your biggest enemy. Make sure you're careful about that, okay? Yes, Big Sis! Desko thought that heroes were her only biggest enemies, but Desko will add UV rays to her list as well. What the hell are you two talking about? So this is it. I heard they went through quite a transformation since the last time I've been here. But I didn't expect this. <laughs> its appearance isn't the only thing. They have the most advanced security system that was designed by the Science Bureau. No matter how small or strong they are, no demon can crack their security. It's pretty much impossible. Even if that demon is a final boss? They still couldn't do it. Have you heard of the Angel of Avarice? She can't even get through here. The Angel of Avarice? Who is that? It's a name that was given to a thief who apparently is an angel that steals from major banks and wealthy families. An angel thief? Ugh, what has the world come to? It's a good thing this is just a dream. The human world is definitely on the verge of its final corruption. Celestia must be going broke, since few humans have faith these days. Anyway, we successfully made it through the security system, which even that angel couldn't get through. And it's all thanks to me. Ha! Feel free to thank me all you want now. However, how is a dead person able to get through such tight security? Does anybody else see some contradictions here? Yeah, but I'm not dead. Soon, everyone will see that I'm still alive, and everything will get all ironed out. Uh, uh please wait, everyone. A final boss can't walk so briskly. It's one of Desko's weaknesses. Sneak, sneak. Oh. Are you a Prinny? Uh, yes, I sure am. I, I mean, 
Yep, dude. I'm on the staff here, dude. So please excuse me now, dude. Oh, sure. Desco better hurry, too. You guys look rather suspicious. How did you get inside the building? Desco is not suspicious. She's just a girl who's training to become a final boss. Yeah, how could you accuse us pretty girls of being suspicious? Are you blind? I'm not a pretty girl. But I came here to complain about an article you bastards wrote. There's a typo! Fix it immediately! No, no, I'm just forget these idiots. Hey, take a close look at me. I'm Sir Death the Measle, the president's one and only son. As you can see, I'm still alive. Our orders are to eliminate any suspicious individual on sight. Everyone, get in position. Uh, hey, wait, listen to me. I'm the Netherworld president's only. Nonsense. Our duty is to remove all intruders. It looks like they have no intention of listening to what we have to say. Damn it! What's going on? How could this happen? Ugh! They're strong! Shall we continue? Let's fight until we can come to terms. I can go all night if we have to. Hey, hold up! Stop fighting and listen to me! I'm the Netherworld President's only son, Sir Death the Measle! I'm the boss of all of you! Huh? A measle? I read an article that said he's dead. I even heard they already had the funeral. Funeral? No! That was rather prompt. I'm impressed. Henceforth, no one will believe your story now. They won't even have the slightest interest in it. Uh, what difference does it make if they're interested or not? I'm not dead! I'm still alive! Why don't you believe me? Why is it so hard to believe that the news was wrong? I don't know. If the president's son was still alive, don't you think they would have mentioned it in the newspaper? Uh, so you guys only believe what you read in the newspaper? <laughs> How big of a loser are you? They won't believe it, even when you're standing right in front of them. Are you really the president's son? Desko's starting to wonder. Shut up! This must be a mistake! Well, see ya. We have to go report the intruders to our higher-ups. Hey! Wait! <laughs> They have complete faith in the news articles that were issued by the Corruptament. Have they given up the ability to view reality with their own eyes or to think with their own brains? Unfortunately, that's bound to happen to the masses. That's the reason information can be so easily manipulated. It's pathetic. Any source of information can alter the truth to their advantage and conceal or change any news that's harmful to them. Any information that is floating around the netherworld nowadays can be overwritten by the Corruptament to their favor. Damn it. I'm not gonna stay dead. They will believe me. They will know that I'm alive. There they are! Intruders! This is your big opportunity. Make sure you show them that you're still alive. Rascal, your very existence is a fact. Go out there with confidence. Oh, I, I know that, damn it. Just watch me. I got this. Can't you see this? You low class demons! Look at the skull mark on my hood! This proves that I am Death the Measle, 
the only son of the president of the netherworld! Right here! Me! I'm Sora Measle! Look! I'm still alive! You sound so desperate. Ah, <sighs> to be young again. Aw, Desko is jealous. She wants her own trademark, too. No way! Sura Measle? Yes! It's me! Ah, <sighs> cool. They finally believe me! Psych! Did you really think I'd fall for that? How dare you tarnish the name of poor, dead Sura Measle! You impudent brat! Hey! But I am a Measle! See? Of uh, the skull? That looks too generic. I don't think they're gonna buy it. Hmm, so a trademark should be unique. Desko will take note of that. It is unforgivable to take the death of the President's son lightly. You are hereby sentenced to death. What's wrong with you, Rascal? You can't change anything by looking down at the ground like that. You were killed once by their false news, and now they'll kill you for a false crime! Are you going to allow that, Rascal? Shut up! And stop calling me Rascal! I'm Death and Measle! Fine. I'm gonna prove to them that I'm still alive, even if I have to drill it into their brains! <laughs> That's the spirit, Rascal. How thoughtful of you. You possess such an undemon-like quality. It is one of your formidable powers. Damn it! If this skull doesn't do the trick, what else can I do? Do you see how superficial your authority is? At least you got through their security. If you want to, you can just go home now. You don't have to say it like that! You're the one who told me I could clear up the false news if I came here! Well, I lied. Now that we've gotten past their security system, we don't need you anymore. S -s so you were only using me? That's right. You were used to further the achievements of our Lord's regime usurpation. You should be honored. <laughs> you tricky bastard! <laughs> You're flattering me. Oh, uh, then does that mean the report of my death won't be changed? Have you been paying attention at all? We came here to take control of this place. Once that's complete, we can easily correct the false news. Uh, I see. Then we just have to defeat the chief of the Bureau. Wait, that's right. The chief. I just have to talk to her. The lackeys only know what the newspaper tells them, but the chief should be another story. I'm gonna let her know that I'm still alive! She should be able to overturn the false news! He's failed every attempt he's made so far! Doesn't he ever learn? Inflicting some trauma might help him learn something, shall we, big sis? Well, nah, I don't think we need to go that far. Sneak, sneak. <laughs> Did you just see that? I think I saw a prinny. No, my lord, that was probably just all in your head. Hmm. In that case, it's fine. Are you the ones who were tarnishing our dearly departed Sir Amizel's name? Blinded by the newspaper's lies! I won't forget this! I'll prove that I'm still alive once I get to talk to the chief! Mm -hmm. I'm gonna report this to my father, and you'll all get busted down to the mailroom! Using your father's name again? <sighs> so pathetic. He's acting like a spoiled peon. 
Being around him is bad for Desko's final boss training. Rascal, why did you come here? Wasn't it to prove that you exist? Or did you come here to reclaim your identity as your father's son? What? For both, of course. My existence and my identity as the President's son come as a set. Is that so? Haven't you realized that your existence can easily be erased without your identity? Why don't you leave your father's protection behind, stand up for your own free will, and take a step forward with your own two feet? It's the only way you'll ever be able to prove you exist. Oh, shut up! I don't need to be preached to by a printy instructor! I'm the Netherworld President's only son! I'm gonna report you all to my father to receive severe punishment! <laughs> severe punishment. Hmm, good luck with that. By the way, the Information Bureau is run by the Corruptor Mint, right? So, couldn't the false news have been spread intentionally? What, what, what did you say? I didn't expect that idiot to notice. Do you think that you may have already been abandoned by your dad? Oh, what are you talking about? I'm his only son. Father would never... But you're kind of a failure. Oh, uh, that's not my fault! Deflecting responsibility for your mistakes? How pathetic. You should start over as a prinny. Were you abandoned because you're so weak? In that case, you're just like Desko. I'll give you a little bit of my sympathy. Oh well, I think this experience will help you grow stronger anyway. I was pretty much neglected growing up too. Kids grow up to be tougher when they have harsher upbringings, you know? You see that so casually. Were you abandoned, too? Uh-huh. I mean, it was basically the same thing. He's the worst dad ever. Big sis. <laughs> A bond among neglected children. Looks like our party is knitting together tighter than ever. Yes, my lord. However, I'm not sure if this is the kind of bond we're looking for. Hold on! I didn't say I was abandoned just yet! I'll be fine. Father would never abandon me. There's gotta be a reasonable explanation. What are you mumbling about? You're being annoying. If you're going to follow us around, then be quiet about it. Y you Not only did you lie to me, but now you're giving me a lot of attitude! You better show me some respect! The only person I show respect to is Lord Valvatores. No one else, not even the President, is worthy of my respect. Do you understand, Welp? Ugh, I'm telling Father about this! Dad, it sucks that I had to bring him up. He's the worst. Big Sis, do you really think Daddy abandoned you? Do I think? I know he abandoned me. He hasn't come home in over two years. Since Mom died, I'm the only family he's got. How could he leave such an adorable daughter all alone every day? Can you believe that? He even knows that my school is like two feet away from his office, and he still never comes by to say hi to me. Hm. Does he think he's not a deadbeat dad just because he sends me money? I can't approve of a father like that. Oh, big sis. I'm glad you two are getting along, but pay more attention to your surroundings. Look, there are enemies about. No. Never approve of him. Big sis, watch out! Please focus on the battle for now. Pardon me, Mr. President. I have more news on the invasion of the Information Bureau. I assume it's not good, judging from the tone of your voice. 
I have received a report that claims Sura Mizo is among the group of invaders. Oh? I hope he's there to show his backbone. But it's probably safer to assume the invaders are just using him. Their threatening letter, and the progress they've made so far. They must have brought some excellent forces to help them. Your previous order has been delivered to all of our members. Are there any other prop- No. Execute the order. Imizel will- Are you sure? I thought he was your precious son. You shouldn't treat him like he's just another rebel. What do you want now? I just had an interesting thought. There is a way to quickly wrangle total obedience out of every demon in the netherworld. You know, those rebels seem to be bothering you quite a bit. <sighs> You're probably thinking too hard about this. We have a great relationship, right? Just think of this brilliant idea as a gift from me to you. could this have happened? It looks like we need to look over our security system again. Are you the chief? I'm bringing this bureau under our party's control. You should now obey me. Otherwise, we will use force. Chief, you recognize me, right? I'm the president's son, Death Amazel. I'm still alive! Can you retract the news of my death right away? Please. I'm sorry. What? See? Told you so. You don't have to act so surprised. We all knew this was gonna happen. Big Sis is right. We really should have taught him a lesson by inflicting trauma. We printed the article about your death under orders of the Corruptament. We can't retract it, even if you wish us to. Not even if that person comes and asks? Can't believe this! Then... Can you tell my father that I'm here? Then he'll... The President was made aware of this situation quite a while ago. Huh? What do you mean? I sent him the video footage of you cowardly running away and getting knocked out. Along with a note that read, If you want to keep this video of your pathetic son out of the public eye, stay out of my lord's way. That's blackmail! Oh. Ma. God! That's so nasty, you monster! It's a reasonable yet effective negotiation strategy. Bring the advantage to your side before the battle starts. It's a basic tactic. Then... Father knew I was alive! That's correct. He issued that article knowing that you were still alive. It's just like how a lizard discards its tail to evade danger. A father is pretty good. So... Father discarded me? Don't let this bring you down. Big Sis and Desko are in the same boat. Yeah, kids don't need their parents to grow up, so don't give up on yourself just yet. <laughs> it's, it's not like I was in complete denial about this earlier. There's no way that Father wouldn't know about a news article that was issued by the Corruptorment. But, but I, I just didn't want to believe it. To uphold the tenets of the Information Bureau, we can't allow someone who has been reported dead to run around. We have to protect our credibility at all costs. Sir Amizel, are you prepared? Prescott, you're not going to give up now, are you? Does your existence completely rely on your identity as the President's son, after all? But... Father discarded his only son. I guess he got tired of me. Since his death, I have yet to take a single human soul. Would you prefer to die? 
die? Me? Right now? No! No, no way! Then fight! You died once, so fight back as if you were still dead! That sounded like you were making a righteous comment, but something's wrong. Fight? Against what? Your daddy, of course! We may have different goals, but we're all rebels from Hades who wish to take over the regime. Who else would we fight? You're telling me to fight the corruptorment My own father? The time has come for you to make a decision, Rascal. If you choose to die here, I won't stop you. If you choose to live and prove you exist, then come with me. Uh, I... I... The Chief of the Information Bureau lost? I will never admit that fact. I control every bit of information! Therefore, if I don't acknowledge that I lost, then it means that I didn't lose! Is that your own personal form of denial? You're wrong! It's a fact! The information that I release becomes the reality of the Netherworld! But you lost, so you're just in denial. That's not very final boss-like. You're wrong! As long as I don't admit it, the fact that I allegedly lost doesn't exist. Have it your way. I shall simply be forced to destroy you over and over again. What? Until you admit defeat, I will use every ounce of power I possess to destroy you hundreds of thousands of times. Uh, hundreds? Thousands? Don't underestimate my persistence. I'll give you the real Hades treatment until your soul is broken. Over and over, forever! Oh, forever? Wow, how former tyrantly of you. I could really feel the weight of your threat. Yes, I learned a very valuable lesson. <laughs> tyrant and that power. By any chance, are you Tyrant Valvatores? You got that right. That legendary tyrant is still alive and works as a printing instructor. Uh, uh, and wh wh what would such a tyrant be up to now? What is your objective? I thought you'd never ask. Right here, see? On the second line on this article, there's a typo right here. Please allow me to explain on his behalf. What my esteemed Lord Valvatores is trying to communicate to your plebeian mind is... We are the rebels of Hades who have stepped forward to usurp the regime. We will send this rotten corruptorment and its president crashing down, bring Hades to this world, and teach everyone a lesson. And I'm gonna be the new president. Desco is gonna be the final boss. And what about you, Rascal? I never once thought about who I really was. I always thought I deserved to be respected and obeyed just because I was the son of the president. But when they announced that I was dead, I lost that identity and realized something for the very first time. I can't do anything. I'm such a powerless demon. I failed all of my tasks. And as death, I've never even taken anyone's life. Yeah, that's right. I'm a complete failure. That is absolutely correct. Good job! You've got yourself down pat! That's an impressive self-analysis. You deserve praise for that. What are you? 
Monsters? Let him finish what he has to say. Go on. Okay. Anyway, I'm fully aware of all that now. But that's why I want to earn the recognition I deserve with my own power. And Measle, the president's son, who used to ride his father's coattails, is indeed dead forever. From now on, I'm gonna carve out a life of my own as Death a Measle. And that is my final answer. When I become a great demon who Pops would be proud of, that's when I'm gonna let the entire world know that I'm alive! Until that day comes, I don't care if everyone thinks I'm dead. So, you will become a full demon on your own merits, Rascal. Do you promise right here, right now? Promise, huh? I gotta keep any promises I make, right? Otherwise, I... That's right. Otherwise, you will learn the full weight of a promise through severe pain. I can, and I will! I will become a great demon all on my own! Good. That's what I like to hear, Rascal. Now become an official member of our party and fight to usurp the regime. In time, you'll be able to challenge your father for superiority. Well, well, I don't really intend to have to be superior to my father. Tyrant Valva Torres gained another comrade and took another step towards completing his goal. Emizel's vows to part from his old life, only to return as a proud and noble demon, will later be known throughout history as the Vow of the Phoenix, and will have a significant influence on the netherworld education system. However, at this point in history, another surprising matter still awaits them. Oh, not only do the rebels count Tyrant Valvatores among their ranks, but now Sir Amiesel too! I must report this to the President! Hold it right there! Before you do that, I need you to pay this invoice. Dude! 37,564 hell that drained into the netherworld due to the Information Bureau neglecting its responsibilities. 53,181 hell for damages caused in Celestia by concealing, forging, and manipulating information. Plus all other illegally obtained profit, I'm here to collect a grand total of 1,192,296 hell. Uh, dude. You! That awkwardly placed dude. You're not a real pretty, are you? You who can deceive an experienced Prinny instructor with that force? Reveal yourself! <laughs> you are correct. Not bad. There's an angel inside that Prinny? Could she be the angel of avarice? That's just the stupid nickname that some demons gave to me without my consent. You can call me... How about... Volcanus? How could you? What are you doing in the Netherworld? I, I, th I thought you died! Hartina! We were met with a surprising appearance on our path to usurping the regime. Who is she? You called her Artina. What do you mean you thought she was dead? I can't believe some people give sardines a bad rap because they smell bad. It's rather depressing. Sardines again? But they do smell bad. They're like super fishy. Who can stand that smell anyway? Just rinse them really well and you will taste just how great these fish are. So just rinse them off. Until you're content, then just trick yourself into eating them. So you have to be tricked into eating them? Next time, Episode 5, A Tyrant's Pain. Do Japanese sardines have bluebacks? Don't forget the fishy smell. The more fat on a fish, the more fishier it'll smell. <laughs>